So you woke up to your worst nightmare. Your NSX management cluster and control plane is down. You've lost two nodes. Time to panic? No, stick around and I'll show you it's not as bad as you may think and I'll show you how to recover from it. See you in a bit. Okay, everybody, um, I've got a two node failure. So what I've done is I've actually gone into vCenter. Uh, my NSX Manager 01 is still up and running, uh, but I went in and I deleted 02 and 03, or turned them off and completely deleted them, right? So now we have a multi-node failure, right? So if I go back to my little uh, whiteboard here, if I go uh, back to here, so if I go back to my whiteboard, uh, I lost node three and I've lost node two. So I've got a multi-node failure. Only node one is still there. But since we no longer have quorum, uh, the, uh, the core food database is no longer running and um, our NSX control plane and management plane is down. Data plane is still functioning. I cannot make any changes or updates to my environment because management and control plane is down, okay? Now, some of you might be wondering, well, control plane's down, doesn't that also impact data plane? I'll talk a little bit about that when we get into more of the switching and segments, and I'll talk about the VTAP back and ARP tables, but for now, let's just kind of stick with this. Management control plane is down, data plane is still functioning, okay? Uh, it may have some limitations, and I'll, I'll address that in a later video. Um, so right now, what we need to do since this is down, it's looking for nodes two and looking for nodes three. They're not there. They're history. They're gone. So what do I? What can I do here now? One of the things is some people I usually get in the class are saying, "Well, hang on a second, Steve. If nodes two and three are down, can't you have an NSX cluster, a management cluster, running in a single node?" And the and the answer is yes, you can. But this guy has been configured as a three node cluster, so it's looking for its brother and sister there. It's looking. For nodes two and three so what I can do is I can actually connect to this first node using SSH or go to the console and I could turn it back to a single node cluster and that's kind of what I'm gonna do all right so right now I again my, my clusters down let me just uh, let me just go back over to here now let's go to um, let's go back to here all right so we're over here now let me click all right let's uh let me putty into manager one so let me go into here and a six manager one let's uh close this over here so i can get a bit more real estate so my nsx manager one is still there but management control plane is down i can show you get cluster status and you see everything's down managers unavailable https is unavailable everything's unavailable Okay, so I'm basically going to go in, I'm going to go deactivate cluster. Hopefully I typed that in right. Deactivate cluster. And it says, um, once you, uh, it's asking you, do you want to remove all nodes from this cluster? So this was our surviving node. It's saying, do you want to remove nodes, in my case, two and three from this? I'm going to say yes. And then this could take a little time to process. Once this processes, then you want to restart it and then have the manage and wait for the management and control plane to come back up. It should come up as a single node. So this is going to take a little while. I'm going to let it do its thing and, um, um, and we'll kind of take it from there. Okay, as we see, the uh, command ran and it says the cluster has been deactivated. Please delete all other nodes that were pre um, previously part of the cluster. You cannot re-add those back in, just in case all of a sudden, oh, they came back, right? You do this in a situation where your two nodes that are gone, they're never coming back, all right? Uh, if you go, oh, it may come back, then don't do this, all right? So right now, you need to go and redeploy two new managers. Okay, we'll not take those old ones back. So uh, let's see um, if the, the uh, service is up. Let me 
Actually, let's just get it here. I get cluster status. And we see some of the stuff that says status is up. Let's scroll up, check everything. And it's looking data stores, okay, cluster stable, controller stable, manager stable. All our services over here on the left that I'm showing you are all stable so far. So that's good. Let's try the uh, web interface now. Let's go into here and see if he's all up. SX Manager. Okay, so uh, it's up and running. Let's log in. And let me just skip this and let's go to system. And then appliances. There we go. Okay. So the manager back up. Don't worry about my memory alarm and stuff like that. I'm running in a nested environment. So this manager is running on top of a VM. So VMs on top of VMs. But bottom line is, now that I'm done, and as long as you're using vCenter Server uh, as a compute manager, I now have my management control plane up with one node. I need to go in and add my second and third node. And again, I'm not going to bother going through with that because uh, you can watch my first video on creating a cluster. I'll leave links for it as well. But bottom line is my uh, cluster is my management cluster is back up. Add your second and third nodes, and life is good. Okay. Uh, so that's how you recover from a two-node failure. If you stuck around this long, um, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you found this entertaining or useful in any way, uh, again, hit that, um, hit that like button as well. I got more content coming out, so if you want to keep informed on that, you hit that little bell to get notified and stuff like that. So I'm going to go back and, um, and uh, basically rebuild my cluster. Uh, but that's basically it. Leave your comments down below. Thanks again for sticking around. See you soon, okay? See you on the next one.